it pains me the kind of in-law that i got the type of man that came to marry my daughter um, osinachi an umbra person somebody from okbo newi of stuff what we saw <laughs> The kind of thing we saw with that man, we don't know that kind of a thing is in this world. Since he came to my house to marry my daughter, to marry Osinachi. Osinachi Mwachuku. Since he came to marry her, my daughter had no peace. I me too didn't have peace. He took her like a slave. He doesn't value her. He does whatever he likes to her. The one that my daughter went into a marriage before I saw her, it was up to eight years. Eight years before I saw her with my two eyes. After she got married, when she had a child, the, her husband didn't tell me that she had a child. It was uh, people that told me she had a child people that know her people that knew her before she got married were the ones that told me she had a child i called my child and asked her and she said it's true i had a child i called her husband and he said i shouldn't bother her bother him that he would do whatever he likes i asked him you will do as you like on my child that I was pregnant with uh, for nine months. You said as you like you would do. That's bad. That's not good. I asked him because when he came to my house, he told me that that he's a pastor. And I received him. But when he started behaving like that, I asked him. I thought you told me you're a pastor. And he said to me, and so what? When he said that, I said to him, What I saw at the beginning is not what I'm seeing now. And he said to me, He doesn't owe me anything. He has already married my daughter. And I told him I will come for a mugwa. He said he doesn't want to see me. He should not come and do a mugwa for me. For him. After he said that, I kept quiet. I called my daughter, Usinachi. I, that your husband, I want to come for a mugwa. And my daughter said to me, What did my husband say? I told her that he said he doesn't want to see me. And she said to me, Please forget it. And then I kept quiet. People kept on telling me. My daughter doesn't tell me what she's going through, but it's people that tell me what my daughter is going through. When she had the first child, it went on until she had the second one. She got pregnant with the second one. Someone that lived in the same yard where she lives. 74 Nikki Road. Her age mate called us. He said, whatever we want to do about Osinachi, we should do it. I called Osinachi. When I called, I asked her, how are you and your daughter husband living? She said, Mama, it's not what you should ask me. She said that we have no problem. Until she got pregnant with the second one, with the next one, and had the child. When she had the child, he called me that I should come, that she's starving, that she's suffering, that what Peter is doing to her is too much. I looked up and looked down. 
she called our daddy that peter said if she doesn't go uh, dead she's gonna go she's gonna go, she doesn't go alive she's gonna go dead so she's gonna be gone dead or alive i called my daughter my oldest daughter i said please come let's see how we can bring Ochina, Ochinachi back. which one is this one that um, if somebody does not go dead they will go alive if someone does not go alive they will go dead they will go. after we had that conversation my eldest daughter decided that she would go she got ready and went to abuja got to abuja and brought her home her baby was three months she brought her brought the child home and the other one she had two years that was two years we all stayed together we stayed together all a year and three months. A year and three months. They, 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 he came when looking for her. I opened my mouth and said, Since you said my daughter will be going dead or alive, she won't live with you anymore. You won't be married together anymore. The one we've already done is enough. Oh, Sinachi opened her mouth. I'm telling you the truth. I'm going to say the truth. Mom, she said, Mama, now God said what He has joined together, nobody should push her, put her asunder. That she would go back. I told her not to go back. She, she said, You'd rather marry another husband. And she said, Mama, I'm not going to marry another one. I've already married, I'm already wedded. After she said that, a small time a short time the husband came back and they took her back and then he continued to do what he was doing after he took her back to abuja i, I, I don't even know where they live in abuja the first pregnancy i didn't go for abuja Amugwa. second one i didn't go for Amugwa. Amugwa. he doesn't like to see me this man does not know whether we're alive or dead my eldest son died he didn't come I kept quiet and looking up to God. And I became unwell. Osinachi went to the husband's wife, I think, and said, Please help me. She wants to bring her mother. Her mother is unwell. The man said, um, Your mother will not come to said I will not come to their house. Uh, the mother in law went and begged Peter. Peter then agreed. When I went to Peter's house, what I heard in Peter's house, Peter chose, chased me and my, my son that we should leave. Pack our load. My, my child, Amarachi, called one woman that uh, Amarachi is her sister, her twin sister, and begged the woman to help her to bring their mother, to help her to collect her mother. Anywhere she can help them put her mother, she should help her, a Delta woman. The Delta woman ran and came and took us, took us to her house. We stayed there. We we're going to treat, going for my treatment. Stayed there for two months and then came back. Since then, my husband got married to Peter. This is not. If this is how marriage is done, it's better my daughter didn't marry. If this is what marriage is, Peter's style is the type of marriage. The worst part is that I said my daughter will be going dead or alive. But today, it is in death. In my death, my daughter died. My daughter was unwell. January. In January. She was unwell for a while and then it got better. She got okay. She, she got better. And February. It happened again. And then stopped. They'll be going they're going and checking everything. They are going to lab and going to different things. They can't. They couldn't find anything. Everywhere they went, they couldn't see find anything. But today, today that I'm hearing that Peter said that my daughter had my child had cancer. But, but Peter himself said that they they not could not find anything. My my child also said that they couldn't find anything. On Wednesday, I spoke with my I spoke with her. We, we spoke together. She said, "Mama, it's enough. 
It's just small headache uh, that she had. Yeah, bro. What I saw is too much, but judgment is in God's hands. The one that sees the front and sees the back. I knew my, my, do, my daughter was suffering and she was still making money. Peter had no job. That one doesn't pay me. My, my daughter was going with a clean heart. He was still bitter. On top of that, insult her, curse her. On top of that, do things that don't think able to her. My daughter was enduring. I said to my child, This man will kill you. He said it. She said, I have decided that I will stay married. He would change. And I told my daughter, I don't think he would. I don't think he would change. I don't know if he would change. And then yesterday. I got Otsinachi. We spoke together on Wednesday. Wednesday. I called her. She answered. When she finished answering, I said, How are you? She said, Mama, I'm fine. My mother, I wished her well. I said, God, praise you for being there for my daughter. God, that's what I was saying to God. And then I called her. She said to her, We are, we will praise God for all He has done. She said, No problem. She said, Mama. The nurse said, There is something the nurse wants to check. We will talk. I will call you back later. Then she didn't call me, and, and then I called her. I called and called, she didn't answer. She didn't answer. At night I called her, called, she didn't answer. Then I called her man. I asked her, have your twins, have you called her? She said, eh, no. I told her that he, she said she was going to call me, but she didn't call me. What Peter did to my child, I can't, I can't finish saying it. It's, it's only God that created the heaven and the earth who that knows what he did to my child. That day he called, he called me. When Peter called me around 8 at night. But my daughter died, my child died in the morning. People got, that, got, that got me to, that got to, that told me that my dad, child was dead, sorry. We close to. Was who told me that my child died? She said she told her to cook for her. The woman cooked for her and took the food and going. She went there and told that she was no longer where she used to be. This man called me around 8 o'clock. But that day that I heard that Osinachi died, I called him, he didn't answer. I called and called and called, he didn't answer. Around that 8, he called. He used Osinachi's number to call. I answered. I asked, how are you guys? He said, you are fine. I said, what about children? He said, you are fine. I said, what about Osinachi? And he said, Osinachi. Osinachi left in the afternoon. I said, where did she go? I said, Osinachi. Oh, the thing you said, you have done it. You said if she doesn't go alive, she's going to go dead. God will judge this matter. Her sister went to look for her to go and see her when she was unwell. He refused to let her come into hospital. When her brother died, her brother is in Abuja. The brother went to check on her. He, the, my child was begging her let, her let him come and see the sister I refuse he says please let, since the children are young let people come and help you with the children he said did I tell you the children are too heavy for me I didn't tell you guys that I can't look after them I know how I look at, he said he knows how he looks after them truly truly it pains me but it doesn't pay me too much because God knows everything
God knows everything. Since he's my type of person, that God allowed somebody like Peter Wachuku to come and meet. God in everything take praise, take the glory. Four children that my daughter, my child had. Since the children were born, they don't know my house. They've never brought them to my house, even once, only when they were small, that I said they should bring them. The children want to come to my house. The man said they have no business with, with them. Not me. I, I suffered when they were doing without doing the wedding. I carry wedding gown to go to Upo. Holy God, thank God they didn't rape me that night. The way I suffered for that man. Carry this thing I went. No network. Hmm. God would take all the glory. I went to the I went to somebody helped me pick up and they stayed in the house the next day I went to the wedding. First issue. Everything was done. First issue that we had. I went to office I went to a training. My sister called me. Said please look. Peter wants to kill her and her children. That was when she had one child. They said and the second one. They were small. They wants to kill them. And then I was coming from Enugu. I told my mother, see, 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 see what's happening. With my money. With my money. I, I went to Abuja and brought those in a chill home. I paid for those in a chill and paid for myself. And they stayed a year plus. After, after he came to plead, he came with two people. Pastor Tony that I used to be with, 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 with Pastor Neche. He's no longer there. And another person. I know how much they blamed him. Then my father was still alive. After everything, the, everything was settled. That was gone. Then after that one. After that one, I went. Everything kept on going. My sister kept on going through this. She had the first child. My mother didn't go for Mugwa. Peter didn't let her come. Same with the second one. My mother didn't go for Mugwa. Peter didn't let her go for Mugwa. Mother does not. She, mother did not get to gain what a mother gains from her child. Had the third one. My mother didn't go for Mugwa. Had the fourth one. My mother didn't go for Mugwa. Four children also that she had. Three boys and a girl. And a girl. He didn't go for any of Mugwa. Peter was strong enough or hard-hearted enough. I denied my mother her rights as a woman that had a child. My mother was in the village and called Roshinachi on the phone. Peter picked the phone. My Peter, I will never forget what he said. He said he's watching as his mother. And he said, Who is Mama Osinachi? Peter doesn't want to use his eyes to see my mother. He doesn't want to see any of us, me and my siblings. My brother that is in Abuja, the same thing. He doesn't want to see anybody. Anybody that's from Osinachi. I called my sister Osinachi. Osinachi. You guys and you guys. Uh, you are not fighting with Peter, but go your separate ways. Just go your separate ways. My sister is someone of peace. Osinachi is a peaceful person. If instead of anything to cause problem between you and her, she will just let you keep ha have it, keep it. She doesn't like trouble. She's just like my father. She just behaves like my father. My sister It still feels like a dream to me. I still don't understand what's going on. I am. I have chills. Peter, my name is Amarachi. Amarachi Eze. I am a twin to Elsinachi Nwachuku. Peter Nwachuku is who married her. Oh, glorious singers program. We were. It was glorious singers program. We went to Abuja. That was when Peter started following her. As if they sent him, they said to him, 
that they wanted to put him in somebody's life to destroy the person Peter Wachuku. when he saw us he took my number and started calling Sinachi. We refused. Oh, Sina, uh, Peter kept on calling my phone that she talked to my sister to agree for him. When she said, I said, not me. He's left to you. And I said to her, I said, I don't understand this man. I don't understand him. I don't understand him. He's left to you. Everything scattered. After a while, the man came. What he did at last was, I, I, I don't know what happened at last. The next thing him and Osnachi started uh, relating. There was no courtship, nothing. Nothing was done. The next thing they've agreed. He did this, did that. He was calling me on the phone then until he got what he wanted. He felt that there's money. He did everything fast, fast, fast. He made it everything fast, fast. Did the bride price after the bride price was done? Peter didn't have my number anymore. I married before my sister. She bought me clothes. We both wore white. We're all wearing white. I said, After you've done for me, I'm going to do for you. But when the time came, the husband didn't agree. It was my husband that kept on consoling me. I didn't know that this kind of a thing will ever happen to me in this life. I was supposed to be my sister's bridesmaid, but the hus my husband said it cannot be me, rather be somebody else. The day that the wedding was to be done on a Saturday, I went, I went with them to Ubo. I would you know the church one small room like that was where it was done my husband kept on consoling me I was crying I was looking at my sister I was crying after a while I was in one corner my husband kept on consoling me and then we left after that it all started if I call my sister he would let her answer until when I was pregnant with my first child. Oh, she was pregnant with my first child. She was unwell. She came to Redeemer Hospital that is opposite uh, in Enigu here. That was where Osinachi came. That was where she was coming. She came there and stayed around 12 o'clock, middle of the night. Peter took my sister. My sister. And they called me that they don't know what this man came and collected her, collected her at night. The teen pained me early morning, morning. I took my little child and my my brother Elijah. We went together. We went to pre the house of Prince Ukachuku. We said Peter came out, come, come out, come out. Peter refused to come out. I was knocking out again. And security said I should leave uh, Peter. I should leave him. That man, his life is somehow. I should leave him. And I said, no, he can't kill my sister. He should come out. That's what I was. They told me to go. To go. Home. I went. Got home. There was nothing else I could do apart from pray for my sister. God did it. God had mercy. That is why every time I call Opna, she, she, she doesn't answer. Peter doesn't let her pick. Peter took her and moved to Abuja. And then she had the child. They didn't tell me. I didn't know anything. Everything kept on going. I kept on enduring. Peter said to me, what Peter said to me, that he's going to separate me and my sister. That he will separate me and my sister. Hi. Hi. Uh, he said this. I thought it was a joke. And I, and I went to convention in Abuja. I got there and stayed. I told my sister I was coming. She said I should tell her husband. I called her husband. The what the man said to me is that I was in Dunamis vehicle. I was at the back of the vehicle. I didn't have money with me, nothing. I stayed there. I called this man. 
I said I'm coming. What Peter said to me. So what what Peter said to me is you're you're you're, you're not coming to my house. Go and repent. I said no problem. And then I felt chills. I came went to that convention. Stayed there. I don't they didn't know anybody. I didn't have money to feed. I was unwell. I was unwell. Peter is wicked. I was unwell. I didn't know what to do. I was there. My sister from my sister to see me. No, no, so I went for my sister for that. I stayed at the back. I saw my sister coming. She saw me and started crying. My sister was kitchen with you, put her. My sister couldn't cook and bring for me. The husband refused to let her cook for me. Now I knew nobody, nobody to feed me. I was sitting by the toilet. My legs were swollen. Don Charles. Don Charles come and came and took me. After that one, after that one, Mechana. After that one happened. Another time I I was I said I will go. One minister arranged for me to come with them. He said I should come with them. I went with them with the vehicle. The vehicle dropped there. Everybody went to the hotels. Me, I took my bag. This is the second convention I went to. I brought to my bag and came up. I stood there. I stood there. A night came. And then everything had closed. Nobody to give me food. I didn't have money. Nobody to give me food. Because of the way things were. I didn't tell my husband. I just told my husband I was going to convention. I went and stayed. One thing God did for me that day. God did that day. God wanted to just uh, glorify his name. That day my sister said he wanted us to sing. Peter didn't know. If Peter knew, Peter, Peter would not have agreed. That day. Shola. Shola. The owner of equipment. The owner of equipment. And said to me, and this person came and said to me, Mama, be strong. He said, and I said, I'm not afraid. I got ready. I said, No, I'm not afraid. I said, I'm not afraid. And then he killed, called us. Then I looked at my sister, was scared. My sister came and was very crying. She was crying because both of us stood and sang. My, because my sister, uh, Peter said it would never happen in this life. If everybody, if everybody that watched you would see that she sang, she raised her voice and sang, and then I picked the song when she was crying. Eventually, we sang together, and the song was uh, viral. That was when. I go ready, whatever I was going to do. I go ready, I, go, I went to where? I said I was going to carry 100 seats. My tummy was hurting. I had no food to eat, nobody to give me food to eat. The chair where I was sitting. This is the second time. Where the ministers were, I went there and, and took one chair and sat down. Early morning, I, they were going to the new site. I got there and I said to God, I'm going to carry 100 seats. 100 seats I was carrying, carrying, carrying. Caterpillar was marking. That was the first day. That was the first day they went to the new site. I carried 100. Even the thing that was worrying me, I didn't feel it anymore. The person that gave me money that day. Reverend Pastor Mark. One of the patron of the glory singer gave me money that I used to buy. I got plantain and got things and ate that day. Uh, uh, then in the morning, my sister. My sister opened her mouth and said that I should come. Let's go to their house. Peter said no. I, you should go straight to Peace Park. And my sister said she doesn't want me to go to Peace because she doesn't like the way Peace drive. I said it is well. I said nothing will happen to me. I called my husband. I, I'm entering Peace. Peace was driving the way they drive. Driving the way they drive. 
God to Enugu. We got to Enugu. I say, God, praise be to you. I say, God, praise be to you. You have done what makes you God. I don't know where to start speaking. That was when God announced me that because I said I was going to carry 100 seats. Maybe, I don't know if that's why. That was... Oh, I was supposed to sing with my sister and the Peter said it will never happen again. We're getting ready for anniversary. I came for another convention. For the new site. Shola. I took my name. Anytime that I'm coming, I should tell him. My sister said we will sing together. We already sold clothes. We already sold clothes we we're going to wear. We didn't even get to wear it. Peter didn't agree. Got to that day. He knew we were supposed to sing together. They already told him. I got there. I was waiting for my sister. Waiting for my sister. The next thing was, my sister called me. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I knew there was danger. I looked at there was no... And I said, okay, I'm waiting for you. The next day, Broshongo called me, Mama, Mama. Hold yourself, Mama. Hold yourself, hold yourself, Mama. Hope you can sing alone. Hope you can sing alone. And I said, yes. And he said to me, Peter. Drive to the gate. Drive, drive my sister and put her in the car. And took her back home and locked her at home. She didn't come. She didn't come. Only myself sang the song. I endured this thing, continued enjoying. If I want to talk, my sister will be pleading with me. If I want to talk, my sister will be pleading with me. We went to a program in Lagos. Unusual praise. He said he should not allow my, myself and my sister to sit together. Anybody that watched will see that I was sitting far, my sister was sitting far. Was sitting far. He didn't allow two of us to sit together. Mama shift, mama shift. The keyboards kept on saying to me, Mama, shift, Mama, shift. I don't want trouble. Everybody was afraid of him. Everybody was avoiding him. Everybody was avoiding Peter Beast. Mama, shift, Mama, shift. Mama, shift, Mama, shift. Distraction everywhere. There was distraction everywhere. My sister was like a person I was carrying. What she was going through. After, I, we left, we, I went back. We kept on enduring. My sister will come to Enugu. He won't let her come home. She said she, she kept on calling on the phone that Peter is breaking her heart. He said there was one day that took, Peter took mob and, and he and to hit her and hit her. Peter, he took, took holds her and beat her. Oh, so she was so hiding it. The one, the one that she opened mouth and told me when she had her last child, that he chased her out with the little child he had in her hand, hand, and it was her son that gave her cloth to cover because she was cold outside with the baby she had with her. It was the child, her son, that gave her something to cover. She carried her child and stayed outside. Oh, she she does not open her mouth because she knows if she tells me, I will tell my mother. Peter said we have nobody that he will deal with us. That nobody will say anything. Nobody would do anything, basically. Peter kept on mistreating her. She kept on enduring because of heaven. She was enduring it. Even some people that he insults on the phone. Oh, she will go and beg on his behalf. Before she will go to program, money has already gone into his account. There was one. There was one she showed me the amount they paid her, 40,000. She said they didn't do well. Peter took the money and called her a thief. Took the money from her and called her a thief. Peter doesn't have a job. He does nothing. He's the one that tells us where she will go to program. She could have gone far, but Peter was one. Peter was one pressing her down. He was the one that tells her where she can go. Wherever he tells her to go, she go. Before she would even come back, they've already paid the money into Peter's account. Everything he did. Oh, Osinachi took my brother. The only boy we have. Get on Abuja. Get on 
He's living in Abuja in a illegal ghetto in Abuja. The only son we have left, the only male child we have is he's living in Abuja. He's living in a living in a ghetto. Ghetto gutter he's living in. Nobody can help him. Nothing to eat. Nothing to eat. I told him it is well. He was eating the food. I cooked. I missed that part. Sorry, guys. He said this food is yummy. This food is yummy. My husband was the one that, that decided at night I should go see my sister. I should go see my sister. He paid for my flight at night. The, in the morning I left. Once I stepped foot in Abuja. When I got there, Peter was yelling and giving out to me, yelling at me. You come into my house without telling me. I said, sorry, don't be offended. I didn't know I was going to come. I was I was pleading with him. If Peter would tell the truth, that's exactly how I was pleading with him. I said, anything at all, anything at all, please forget, forgive. He said, you you, said, you think you can you can kill me. You, think, you guys think you can put me in your armpit. You don't know that I'm a strong man. This is what Peter was saying. He was going towards the bathroom. You don't know that I'm a strong man. You think you can kill me? And I said to him, My father, forgive. When he continued, that was when I called him Peter. Oga. Peter said to me, He said, I should get out. Myself and my brother, I should get out. The priest, Ukachuku, is coming. Ukachuku is coming. He doesn't want them to see him to see us. And I said, I didn't come for Prince. I came for my sister. When he comes, I'll go. He said, No. He doesn't want them to see us. My sister and I said to him, Peter, why are you telling them to go? Peter, when Prince comes, they can leave. He started shouting at her. Are you going to tell? He said, Why are you going to tell me what I'm going to say? Are you going to tell me what I'm going to do? My sister said, I'm sorry. My sister was begging him that she's sorry, that she's sorry. He bleeded with him. The man locked his heart and said, I should leave. And I said, I'm not leaving. I said, I just came from Enugu. Peter, did I do anything to you? What, Peter, did I do anything? I said, what, did I do anything to you? He said, I'm finished things. He said, he has finished things what he has to say. And my sister pleaded with me. And I said, and I said, Peter, you're breaking my heart. Osinachi Mado. Mama the daughter of Osinachi is not a troublemaker. She was like my father. I'm the only one that makes trouble. But if you do anything to, to her, the only thing you the only way you know that she's upset is she's just crying. I heard on to my heart and I was like, Peter, you Oh no, she my uh, Osinachi held on to her heart and was saying, See Peter, you're breaking my heart. And she was biting her lips and saying, You're breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart.